some users reported because Instagram crashes immediately when opened on their iPhone. There were those who said the app was working properly and then the problem started without apparent reason after the iOS 14 update. In this video, you will learn what to do with Instagram that crashes frequently on your iPhone 10 after the iOS 14 update. First solution, close Instagram and force restart your iPhone. If the problem started without apparent reason, then perhaps it's just a minor problem with the app. The first thing you have to do is the force restart to refresh the memory and reload all apps and services. Here's how you do that. Swipe up from the bottom of the screen and stop at the middle. This will show you the app previews. Swipe up on each preview to close them. After that, quickly press and release the volume up button and then volume down. Immediately after that, press and hold the power key for 10 seconds. This will trigger the iPhone to turn off and power back up. When the Apple logo shows, release the power key and wait until the device has finished rebooting. After the reboot, open Instagram and see if it still crashes. Second solution, uninstall and reinstall Instagram. If the first solution failed to fix the problem, then you have no other choice but to uninstall Instagram from your iPhone. After that, download a fresh copy from the App Store to make sure you're using the latest version. Here's how. Go to the screen where Instagram can be found. Tap and hold on its icon until options show. Tap delete app. Now confirm you want to remove it by tapping delete. Once the app is successfully removed, go back to the home screen and launch the app store. Search for Instagram and tap the install icon next to Instagram. Wait for the installation to finish. After the installation, tap open to launch the app. This is the ultimate solution to this problem. So after doing this, you can now use Instagram without having to experience the same issue. Third solution, factory reset your iPhone. However, if the problem occurs again, then it's possible that a problem with the firmware is causing it. For that, what you need to do is to reset your phone. A factory reset will bring all your iPhone settings back to default. So before you actually do that, make sure to create a copy of your important files and data. When ready, follow these steps to reset your iPhone. From the home screen, tap settings. Find and tap general. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen, and then touch reset. Tap Erase All Contents and Settings. Tap Erase Now. If prompted, enter your security lock. Tap Erase iPhone at the bottom of the screen. Tap Erase iPhone again to proceed with the reset. Enter your Apple ID password, and then touch Erase to proceed with the reset. I hope that we've been able to help you one way or another. Please support us by subscribing to our channel.